Rumors of companies purposely slowing down their smartphones, pressuring the sale of their newer products by compromising older models with updates. And these prices are part of a marketing strategy in order to demonstrate that they are indeed quote-unquote high quality. Apple It is perhaps one of the most recognized brands in the world. Apple is not just an emblem of capitalism, the new digital age, and the era of invasion of smartphones and tablets, but it is also a symbol of the American economy. More than 10 years ago, Apple unveiled the iPhone to the world, an innovative product that rendered manual keyboards on phones obsolete. It wasn't so long ago that everybody had Blackberries and a physical onboard keyboard. At the beginning, many were skeptical of a cell phone with only a digital screen, but the iPhone was quick to erase these doubts. The iPhone 3G was a success. Each new phone was a new symbol of modernity and innovation. Many set up to conquer this new smartphone market, such as Samsung, which to this day competes heavily with the iPhone. Other brands such as BlackBerry built to accept that the market was changing and shrunk to near obscurity in a relatively short time. Apple managed to earn billions of dollars with the sales of its smartphones over the years. The iPhone is Apple's cash cow, representing more than 70% of their entire income. But today, Apple seems to be at risk. Its sales and income are falling fast. The appearance of new brands, especially the Chinese Huawei, which threatens the company, has produced tensions between the Chinese and the US government. The competition between these two giant companies also represent the growing economic war between the two most powerful countries in the world. The projected sales of the iPhone were not up to par with their expectations. A reduction of 15% of revenues last year was a major blow to the company. Apple's shares have lost the third of their value. It seems that there is starting to be a disenchantment of Apple's products in the eyes of their loyal customers. This is not a good sign, as Apple generally sells more iPhones in the first quarter of the year. However, Apple's latest model, especially the iPhone XS, have not reached the number of sales that Apple was hoping for. The company would no longer report their quarterly sales. Apple iPhones, especially lately, take advantage of the expectations of consumers by inflating their prices every single year. If a new phone was to be released with the lifespan of a previous smartphone, there should be some innovations. Apple and other companies have even been accused of purposely compromising older models through updates to push sales of their newer models. Rumors of companies purposely slowing down their smartphones have always existed. Italian antitrust officers fine Apple and Samsung 10 and 5 million euros respectively for pressuring the sale of their newer products by compromising older models with updates. Back in 2008, the smartphone market was very limited, only including Nokia, Blackberry, Samsung, Apple, and LG. In summary, the smartphone market is currently oversaturated, and this oversaturation has forced these brands to lower their prices in order to stay competitive. The high prices of iPhones do not directly reflect the cost it takes to produce them. The prices are increased in order to make a larger margin of profit, and these prices are part of a marketing strategy in order to demonstrate that they are indeed quote-unquote high quality. Apple is famously known for producing their products in China at the Foxconn factory, where all Apple smartphones are produced. US President Donald Trump had declared a campaign that he would make the largest American companies return stateside and produce their products domestically, and that he advised him to produce iPhones in California and not China. It is much cheaper for Apple to manufacture their product in China, yielding to political and economic pressure by the White House. However, the company has announced that they will not follow through the construction of the factory, citing the high cost of the American workforce. Although almost all of Apple's production is concentrated in China, the country is also an important market for the American company, since 20% of their sales come from that country. But while China emerges as a second world power, we can't ignore the technological and scientific development that it's undergoing. The Chinese company that has increasingly worried Apple is Huawei. Apple and Samsung had negative sales growth of negative 4% and negative 5% respectively. Huawei, unlike the previously mentioned brands, experienced a 34% increase in sales. Huawei is the third leading company in the global cellular market. Huawei has been able to produce high-end smartphones with functionality and features that rival the iPhone for the Samsung Galaxy at much more comfortable prices. This is why many consumers have begun to transition to Huawei. In the case of China, it is a local company, so the Chinese have more motivation to purchase the product that many consumers in general still purchase the iPhone for its social status.
the explosive growth of the Chinese brand, which threatened the Western technology companies such as Apple and the South Korean brand Samsung, has led to political tensions between the US, the European Union, and China. The US and the West, in general, have not been very happy with Huawei's exponential growth. President Trump has accused the Chinese company for spying on its users. The daughter of the founder of the Chinese telecommunications giant, financial director of the company, was arrested in Canada and faces extradition to the United States. The Chinese embassy in Canada strongly protested against the arrest and demanded her immediate release. The United States accuses Huawei and its board of directors of stealing technology from T-Mobile. It also coincides with movements to restrict the use of Huawei technology in Western countries the US, Australia, and New Zealand, but in general, the threat of Huawei and other Chinese brands will unlikely cause Apple to disappear like BlackBerry in the past. But in any case, Apple has a huge pool of liquid reserves with billions of dollars to support any shortage in income. It will soon be the end of the reign of Apple and Samsung, and China's takeover is imminent. And what do you think of the iPhone? Do you think their insane prices are worth it? And what brand do you think is on the rise?